I used to watch your videos from my bachelor's only. So okay. whenever I used to have any problem in literary theory, I just used to search structuralism and Arpita Karwal's video. And I used to had like a lot of names, but somehow like I used to end up opening your videos only because your voice had that kind of power and grip, you know, that it made me relate more. Like the way you used to give examples and compare structural right, elements, right. you know about different type of lenses and how you can compare one novel to another through lenses. So like it got really interesting. And through your videos, I understand that you know literary theories are not that difficult. That you know we make up in our mind that oh it's a right. big thing, how it is complicated, but it's actually very simple. The best part about it was the test series. It helped me mm-hmm. quite a lot. I think I will give half of the credit to it because it was so organized, and every module has its own test series. You can mm-hmm. give hundred questions at a time. You want to give thirty, you can do that, and mm-hmm. it has the analyzed description of your result. You know how, how much percentile you got. What is your mm-hmm. rank? So I mean, it made quite easy. And you know, whatever I used to make mistake, I used to write it down. and then give after 2 weeks again the same exam and see how okay. much i have done Firstly, a big congratulations from our side for clearing you UGC so much, and you. making all of us so proud. Thank you, ma'am. It is lovely talking to you, and I'm so sorry for the initial delay. I okay, was caught up with some technical difficulties. Right. So in this interview, I'm going to be asking you a bunch of questions, which I think will um, help the upcoming net aspirants to understand your strategy and to utilize uh, those tips. in their preparation journey so that uh, yes, you know they don't make the mistakes which uh, which can cost them a few marks and maybe yes, net ma'am. right so uh, before we go ahead i want to know about you your story where are you from and uh, from where have you done your bachelor's masters and uh, how did you come across this idea that you want to appear for ugc net uh, so ma'am um, i have done my 12th from science background but uh, i always loved biology but otherwise uh, like other than that my physics and all was not very good so i thought mm-hmm. of dropping it because i really got interested in um, english like i used to study read novels and stuff so i uh, did my bachelor's from magan mahila college from patna university and okay. then i did my masters from patna women's college so patna itself i have done my post graduation and graduation and um like people were around me like in my classroom people used to talk about like you have to appear for net and then clear jrf if it could if you could so i always had that in mind that you know i'll not start preparing for net after like during my masters i thought that i'll first complete my master i'll do once i'll do one thing at a time like okay. i will not jump on two boat at, at the same time so i clear my masters because the syllabus was pretty tough in our college and it was really interesting so i did not want to to mess it mess it up and i did not want to compromise with my grades for masters so i focused on my masters and then after completing my masters i thought of uh, i like appearing for net so um, my first attempt was in june 2023 so i just went there for experience i did not study anything for uh, for my first attempt so i just went because my professor they used to say you know that you should just go once and take the thrill you should go and check the environment see how everything is and how many people right. come to you you go the next time and you're completely prepared so i thought of doing that and then i used to watch your videos from my bachelor's only so okay. whenever i used to have any problem in literary theory i just used to search structuralism and arpita karwal's video and i used to had like a lot of names but somehow like i used to end up opening your videos only because your voice had that kind of power and grip you know that it made me relate more like the way you used to give examples and compare 
structural right, elements right. and know about different type of lenses and how you can compare one novel to another through lenses so like it got really interesting and to your videos i understand that you know literary theories are not that difficult that you know we make up in our mind that oh it's right. a big thing how it is complicated but it's actually very simple if you like understand it through examples and stuff so i was thinking that you know i'll jo- join some kind of test series or something so i joined it and actually it helped me through the process a lot right right wonderful wonderful um so uh, as you mentioned that uh, you sat for the exam uh, just to get the vibe and then you did your entire preparation and then finally you sat with a mindset where you were fully prepared so how how was your study routine like like how many hours did you study how did you start so what was that entire uh, journey like Uh, so i started my preparation after september mid september okay. you can say so okay. um i used to i always had a keen interest in making notes so okay. even in college i used to write everything the teacher used to say and my friends used to make fun of me that why do you write everything you don't have to write everything but i used to feel that it's you know when a teacher is teaching and i've got something a good idea i used to think that why should i not take a note what if Jot, i forgot jot it down yeah right. so i used to write things and i used to remember oh like this is what he means if i do not understand that in class i might understand at home so that's why i used to write notes so even when i study from your videos i used to write it i used to write everything down and then when i used to set for revising you know i it made more sense and i got my concept more clear so i did not used to study for long hours to be honest i am not that kind of student who will make a routine and sit from this hour to that hour so i used to sit whenever i whenever i felt like and i used to make sure to study even for one hour but every day mm-hmm. so i was regular with my studies i used to study every day but for, not for long hours but because i cannot do that and i am also not kind that kind of a student who can keep their phone aside while studying so i have to use my phone for 5 minutes only but when i used to think that no Take i will breaks. not use phone, yeah so whenever i used to think i will not use phone my mind is in the phone i want to check some thing okay. i want to see some reels so i used to be like you know let's just use phone and then i'll ha- i'll feel guilty about using phone then i'll study more with like uh, concentration so Full i used to study that but yeah what is i think important is be regular not study for long hour one day and you know you skip whole week so it's important to be regular but uh, um how many hours you can study it's okay i think uh, i was able to complete i did not complete much of the syllabus honestly i just had the knowledge of two three modules only but i think that was enough for me that was enough for you but then uh, it is very interesting to know um madeha that uh, you have uh, very rightly specified that you knew yourself that what was possible for you so uh, for a person like me i am somebody who has to be in a distraction free zone to study if i'm distracted i cannot study but then everyone is different and everyone is unique and you kind of understood that okay if you are keeping your phone aside then you're not able to concentrate on the book so you have to like kind of maintain a fine balance between yeah. both the things so it is very 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 interesting to uh, understand that you have to see what comes naturally to you yes. even if you want to be on social media you want to use your phone still there is a high chance you can clear net if you consistently study also so you take both the things hand in hand so that is very mm-hmm. nice very nice i think this is going to be very helpful for students who uh, face this issue of keeping everything aside friends ke sath nahi jana hai kuch bhi nahi karna hai sirf padhna hai so anybody who mm-hmm. cannot adhere to a very disciplined routine can still clear net if they are consistent yes, towards it that is very nice um i also wanted to understand from you that um, how did you balance your paper 1 and paper 2 preparation like how much time did you devote to paper 1 and how much time did you devote to paper 2 uh, ma'am i always had uh, more knowledge about my paper 2 because i've done my bachelor's and my masters and my base was pretty fine i just right. had to do some revision and some cleaning up on my theories and stuff 
so and right. i am very weak at paper one my math is very weak my reasoning aptitude and all mm. that is very weak so i knew that even if i give my 100% to my maths and reasoning and bi i won't be able to do very good in it so i thought that in paper one what paper i what topics i can study is um, uh, like reasoning aptitude teaching aptitude communication so these are things which if i study i'll understand and i you understand right yes so i did not focus much on my maths i thought that if i knew the answer, if i know the answer i'll mark it right and if i won't know i won't mark it i won't like break my head on something which i can't do i would rather mm, do something mm. which i think that will help me play with your strengths right right yes yes very, so very i rightly said for paper mm. one i did i did what i thought i could and it actually helped me uh, because i knew that in paper one if i get certain marks i am good to go and mm. i'll i'll you know put my energy to my paper to i because that's my strength so i better do uh, give my 100% to my paper too right right very rightly said and do you think that since you've done your graduation post graduation both in english do you think that uh, whatever you've studied in bachelor's and masters was that sufficient for uh, ugc net or like or you have to like study more no ma'am it's you definitely have to study more i mean the syllabus is vast it's like a sea and what we get like in our master degree is pretty fine but like for the structuralism we will get one two theories to study not more mm. than that it's just two years how much can you get in a syllabus and right. so you can have a uh, idea of and the base of some theories but you cannot mm. study all the theories of particular theory so you have to take time out and study everything in detail it's very important right 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 and like what study materials resources did you use to prepare for paper 2 So, ma'am, I think the most important thing is that you know your syllabus because you don't know anything about it. We are just given poetry, drama like this, so you cannot know. Mm. So, you know, my in like in my friends group, uh, your PDF, the syllabus you have made, it's like circulated everywhere. So, whoever is taking the subscription or not, like everybody used to check your syllabus and be like, oh, I've done this writer and that writer, and take marks. So, you know, we have this print out and everything. so we used to study from that and it it has made it easier that you know we have have to study these writers so we already made up our mind that okay we'll do this 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 and we won't the poetry mein padhna hai to kaun kaun si poetry is padhni hai you at least have a exhaustive uh-huh. list about yeah, so it too. was quite it was quite easy that we had the syllabus layout and we just have to study and we have to just think ki humko kya padhna hai kya chhodna hai to uske kaam kaafi easy ho gaya tha hamare liye राइट राइट एंड मतलब क्रोनोलॉजी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने के लिए वॉट स्ट्रेटेजी डिड यू यूज मैम आई एम वेरी बैड एट रिमेम्बरिंग डेट्स तो मुझे याद नहीं रहते आई जस्ट नो माई बर्थडे एंड माई फोन नंबर सो आई आई नॉट इवन थिंक ऑफ रिमेम्बरिंग एनी डेट्स एंड इवन इफ आई डू रिमेम्बर दे आर सो मेनी हाउ मेनी कैन आई इट्स नॉट ह्यूमनली पॉसिबल so True. even to my friends i always say that do not break your head in something it that is completely impossible it's not possible to remember everything exactly mm-hmm. exactly there are certain things that if you want to remember you can remember that like um, when is the spectator published or uh, tatler published so there are important things that you want to remember so you can but i always used to study in chronological manner only so you know even if in exam the questions comes i be able to think that okay this book was first then this yeah so like that True. i used to study and and since you were making notes from the audio lectures yes. so everything was chronologically so you yes. kind of made notes in the same order yeah so True. i did not have to revise it uh, again and again so because it was already there and i just have to mm-hmm. you know turn my pages and see it. true true and which topics areas do you consider most important for ugc net paper 2 ma'am um, honestly i have just done three modules i have done british literature i have done literary theory literary criticism i had a little bit knowledge so i did not do it and i did at the end like when one or two week was left i used to i started doing uh, um, indian literature 
and okay. that too i did not complete i just studied few of them and america that is wonderful that just based on the four uh, units that you covered four modules that to not completely so kind of two and a half three modules you completed and still you you were able to make it to net yes, so I'm, i'm i'm very happy to see that the level of determination with which you've studied these three modules that you attempted all the questions correctly uh, coming from these three modules and it's very right. important to uh, have a knowledge of one module only but complete knowledge rather than jumping from one to another and having you know half knowledge of everything true true absolutely i think i agree on that that if you're leaving leave two three modules but whatever you are deciding that i'm going to study study that very thoroughly ki wahan se kuch bhi aaya to you don't miss out on it right right and uh, one thing uh, more that i wanted to understand that um, like did you use any other resources apart from the online classes that we give for the preparation ma'am for paper one i used kvs madran but also but for paper one i did not give much, much attention to it because it was out of my hand i knew it is my weakness and i will always mm-hmm. lack something in it so i gave my 100% to mm-hmm. paper mm-hmm. but also i mean what happened in my exam all that i couldn't attempt 20 questions i couldn't oh. attempt last 20 questions because you know the paper one was very tough december 2023 the paper one was very tough so i panicked and i mm-hmm. can get anxious very soon so i started giving my best in my paper one so you know uh, i took a lot oh. of time in paper one and while coming to paper two it was easy for me because i studied mm-hmm. it nicely so i could solve the questions i knew all the questions but i didn't get get enough time and only 5 minutes yeah. was left and i i had 20 questions left so i missed out but still oh. i was able to clear net this you were good okay okay like and why you were preparing for net why did you feel that there was a need of joining a coaching class like you had the root of self study also so why did you join a coaching class mom i think that the way you teach and the way you speak even about certain things even in your videos it kind of gave, gave me confidence and i could relate to your videos more than any other videos so i just had that ki i need a guide you know at least like whenever mm-hmm. i'm demotivated i'll have somebody to listen to and somebody is there to guide me who is experienced who have cleared this and you who have gone right. through this journey so i yeah, who can actually tell you what to study and how much to study what, that yes. is the main problem like uh, yes. the syllabus given by ugc is so indicative that you don't know what to study in a writer and then there are so many writers jinko aapko bahut detail mein padhna hai and there are writers jinko aapko sirf touch karna hai so you yes, don't know that dis- uh, discrimination yes, ki kis tarike yes, se so that is where a uh, guides help come into the picture i guess yeah yes ma'am so and how was your overall experience being a part of our uh, course ma'am it was really good and um the best part about it was the test series it helped me mm-hmm. quite a lot i think i will give half of the credit to it because it was so organized and every module has its own test series you can mm-hmm. give 100 questions at a time you want to give 30 you can do that and mm-hmm. it has the analyzed description of your result you know how, how much percentile you got what is your mm-hmm. rank so i mean it made quite easy and you know whatever i used to make mistake i used to write it down and then give after two weeks again the same exam and see how okay. much i have done score so, i mean it's wonderful 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 and how many mock tests did you attempt for the exam ma'am i used to give mock tests regularly i think it's very important it's it's fine if you do not solve pyqs because i think i prefer to solve pyqs after i'm finished with my uh, whole syllabus because syllabus, you, right. you can get very nervous if you are if you do not know certain answer will be like mm. oh i don't know this but also you have not finished the syllabus so it's important to right. give it after reading each uh, module rather than give the pyq test mm. true true absolutely and what strategies did you adopt to uh, revise this vast amount of information uh, jo teen modules mein aapne padha how did you manage to like revise all of that before the exam mm, ma'am uh, i kept revising it through the process because if you revise it 
if you like to read it once and you leave it for one week or two weeks you will forget certainly you will forget mm. So mm. you have to keep looking back just you know go through it once it's fine if you take barely one hour to go through everything right right write it and you revise it it's very important to continue so, so the regular revision is what you did that uh, regular, revision regular revision right right very very essential because a lot of students feel that uh, pura syllabus ho jaye fir hum revise karenge tab tak to you will get whatever you studied in uh, kind of prepared in the initial few days of your uh, journey so that is extremely important that you kept on revising it simultaneously while you were preparing new things that is great and um, how did you approach the last few weeks leading up to the net exam like oh, i'm i'm sure that you must be very tensed uh, and anxiety bhi hoga so kis tarike se kya kiya last kuch dino mein were you studying something new revising doing mock test um, ma'am i did not study something new because it's very challenging and it's very mm-hmm. risky something new and then you get nervous that there is some because there is so much in every module if you sit with something new, you will bound to get nervous and anxious mm. and i'm already mm. a person who's very anxious so in last few days i just used to watch netflix and relax my mind okay. let things what i have studied settle down and i used mm. to revise a little bit and i used to sleep a lot in okay. last few days but i knew that you know i cannot learn something very new in, in this period i just have to make myself very calm and composed calm and so that all that you have uh, learned so far can consolidate in your brain so that you can yeah. you know when the question is in front of you you don't get confused a lot of people don't uh, value the importance of rest sleep that play in the preparation but it is also there in um, any healthy lifestyle that you are living even if you are following a fitness regime they say that if you are working out five times in a week two days you have to make your body rest you cannot survive mm-hmm. on a workout regime where you are working out seven times a day because aapka body ko recover karne ke liye time chahiye uh wo aapko kab milega waise hi i always uh, emphasize on the fact ki last kuch din mein aapka sleep acha hona bahut zaruri hai aap relax karo jisse wo jo information aapke andar gayi hai wo kahin na kahin acche se consolidate ho आप जितना ज्यादा नया पढ़ते रहोगे पैनिक में रहोगे सोगे नहीं तो कहीं ना कहीं आपके दिमाग में वो सब प्रोसेस होने का उसको टाइम ही नहीं मिल रहा है आपका मशीन जो बोलते हैं कि ब्रेन इज लाइक अ मशीन आप उसको गर्म ही कर रहे हो उसको आप थोड़ा कूलिंग पीरियड नहीं दोगे तब तक वो वापस चल ही नहीं पाएगा एंड आई थिंक दिस हैज हेल्प यू अ लॉट बिकॉज जस्ट बेस्ड ऑन थ्री यूनिट यू सैट फॉर द एग्जाम इन यू क्लियर इट इन दटेम्प्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ हैपेंड बिकॉज यू gave enough importance to all the other aspects as well so true yes, so true so um lastly i would want to ask how did you uh, manage the 3 hours in the exam hall like what was your approach uh, did you attempt the questions uh, in a order or how did you attempt the paper uh ma'am you know you just in it like when you are entering the exam hall they already make you very nervous they make you remove your hair band and use this pen that pen so you know you are you are already very nervous and then they make you more nervous they'll check you and everything and um, when we got to the computer i mean the layout of the computer was very different you have to scroll left and right mm-hmm. and center mm-hmm. and we are asking the teacher you know the invisibility to change it but they are like no we cannot do that it's like already like this so i mean it mm-hmm. we got a little nervous because of that and you know so that happened and maybe that presence of mind is very important how very, you very are important. in the right you have to be in the right mind at that moment true you know true. you cannot let your your nervousness get to your head i think that happened with me and i kind of messed up a little bit but overall it was fine overall it was fine wonderful wonderful and very very uh, impressed by all the strategies that you have shared because you have uh, kind of pointed out certain things which a lot of students take it take for granted like you you mentioned it very beautifully that um, you decided that whatever i'm going to take in my hand i'm going to finish it thoroughly rather than jumping from one module to the other this is something that a lot of students do thoda sa pad liya ye thoda sa wo thoda sa ye us chakkar mein so now what happens that we start uh, asking our friends and we start comparing oh tumne itna pad liya mera to itna hi hua hai it's okay everybody has their own way of learning and 
you know what works for you that you have done your exactly. 12 years you have done your masters bachelor so you know how things work for you so it's right. very important to stick to your routine rather than following somebody else very true and i think this is what aristotle and plato used to say know thyself khud ko jaan lo to aadhi samasya to duniya ke aise hi khatam ho jayegi once you know what kind of person you are what is your learning style aapko kaise yaad hota hai some people are very good at group studies some are good at doing it individually you are somebody who can balance out uh, work as well as uh, fun simultaneously i am somebody who has to be an introvert when it comes to reading something i cannot work uh, or read when there are people around me so only after understanding it it becomes a smooth walk and what you said in the last uh, make so much sense that it is never about comparing your journey with what your friends are doing because that is just going to demotivate you it is your journey it is your you are your biggest competition this is something that we all have to take as a mantra so yeah yes, amazing i think uh, this is one of the best interviews i've taken something that i also got in um, i also got a new perspective that how a student can think about an exam and clear it it is not about completing the entire syllabus you can play with your strengths and still clear it you don't have to be very very studious you don't have to like um you know uh, take out all the distractions from your life you don't have to be very um rigid with your study routine you don't have yes. to study for long long hours to clear net still with like enough preparation with regular consistent preparation you can still clear it thank you yeah. thank you so much madhaha it was amazing yeah. knowing your story and i am hoping that the video is going to prove beneficial to all the students who are going to watch it thank, thank you so you much. much and all the best for all the future uh, milestones that you'll achieve and i wish you very best for uh, different aspects of your life which you're going to touch upon very soon be it career relationship family uh, i wish you success and happiness in all the fields that you embark on thank you very much afita ma'am thank you thank you bye 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 bye, bye.